woke up this morning, I had a headache, a flat tire, and the cat was sick. I really thought life couldn't get any worse. How wrong I was. Welcome to Eliminator, a battle of wits where the winners get to go on amazing exotic holidays and the losers are eliminated. On the last show, we left our team, Charlotte, Kira and Nikki, here on step two, and the Eliminator was yet to start. Girls, how are you feeling? Nervous. You shouldn't be nervous. You got your first question right. We're waiting to find out the results of your second question, but first, here's a quick recap of the rules. The team must answer questions correctly in order to move around a track divided into three separate levels. As they move from this underground level to street level and then the final rooftop level, they're pursued by Eliminator. And if he catches them, it's all over. Now, Eliminator can travel at three speeds. In this first underground level, Eliminator can only move one square at a time. When our team enters the second level beyond the door, he'll move two squares at a time, and when they reach the third level, Eliminator will move three squares at a time. Whoa! Just ignore him, girls, right? He does that all the time, I promise. Now, you can control the distance between you and Eliminator by the type of questions that you answer. Hard questions are worth three moves, medium questions, two moves, and easy questions, just one move. Now, the subject of your question is chosen at random by our computerized selector. And we left you just over halfway through a question, you gave us an answer, didn't you? Let's take a look at that question again. I asked you, which of these is a marsupial? You said A, cat. I can tell you it's the wrong answer. It was C, kangaroo. And lucky girls, so that's no move for you, but Eliminator does get to make his very first move. The next question is an important one for you now, because if you get it wrong, you'll be eliminated from the game. OK, so you need to think carefully about what you want to do. While you do that, let's take a look at what your next category is going to be. And your second category is... Books. OK, girls, would you like a one, a two or a three move question? Two. What are you thinking two. here? You go for a two. You sure? Yes. OK, good luck. Here comes your second question for two moves on books. Complete the title of the Roald Dahl book. Fantastic Mr. A. Fox. B. Day. C. Sun. Mr. Fox, yeah. Fox. You're going for Fox? Yes. A. Yes. You're absolutely sure? Yes. Girls, you're pretty confident. You're right to be confident. It's the correct answer. Congratulations. Move forward. Number four. And Eliminator, can you make your move, please? Wow. How are you feeling? Oh, God. Better. <laughs> I'm not surprised. You've done really well. You're now here at the door to level two. But the only way to get to level two is to answer your next question correctly. Are you ready? Let's take a look at what category it's going to be. And your next category is places. OK, places. What do you think, a one, a two, or a three-move question? One. You're going for a one, playing safe. It's probably a good decision. You're here on step four. He's two steps behind, and you know he can only move one step, whatever happens. Good for you. Let's take a look at your one-move question on places. What is Hollywood famous for? A, the oil industry, B, the fishing industry, or C, the film industry? C, film industry. It was a one-move question, it was easy, and you're absolutely right, it is C, the film industry. Congratulations. That means it's time to take your one move, so follow me from the damp and dirty underground level into level two, the busy city streets. That's the good news, however, Eliminator can now take his move. And now that you're here in level two, it means from now on, Eliminator can move at two spaces after every question. 
Right. Are you ready for your next question category? Yes. OK, let's take a look. And it is... News. Charlotte, you had your eyes closed in horror then. I guess news isn't a good category for you, no? What about you girls as well? No. No? no? OK, a joint no. Yeah. Right, so you need to make a decision. Now, you need to remember, if you get this question wrong, you will be eliminated. So you need to go for a one, a two, or a three move question, please. One. Playing you safe. Yes. You're absolutely sure. Yes. All right then. Let's take a look at your one move question on news. What event was the London Eye constructed to celebrate? Was it A, the Queen's Golden Jubilee, B, the opening of the Channel Tunnel, or C, the Millennium? It's not the Queen's Golden Jubilee. Yeah. It was before the Millennium Dome, was it? It was before the Millennium Dome. Yeah. Oh, it's just a stamp, isn't it? It was before. It was before. Go for it. B. Are you absolutely sure? No. No. Um, no. It's not the Queen's Jubilee. I know. That's not sure. Right, right then, Kira, your team leader. I'm going to need an answer, please. I can see you. Go for it. B. Yeah, B. B. You're going for B, yes. the opening of the Channel Tunnel. Yes. Girls, I've got to tell you, it was an important question. You knew that if you were going to get this one wrong, you'd be eliminated from the game. And it is the wrong answer. It was C, the Millennium. And you know what that means? Yes. Girls, they always say it's easy when you know the answer. And they didn't. The thing I really hated about the elimination was his breath stank. He's really freaky. And he's really big. Let's hope our next team have more luck. Well, it was sad to see them go, but it's time to move on to our next team now. They're from Sutton Coldfield, and they are... Hayley. Helen. Josh. Guys, it's good to see you. How are you all feeling? Nervous. I'm not surprised. Most of our teams right at the beginning feel a little bit nervous, but trust me, just relax, enjoy it, and you'll do brilliantly. Now, I know you all know the rules, and don't... Uh, now, it's getting a little bit twitchy here, so we'll move on nice and quickly. Remember, I'm not going to allow him to move until after your second question, so your first move is a free move. Are you ready to play? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Well, let's play Eliminator. And your first topic is film and television. Is that quite good, Helen? Big smile on your face there. Is it a good topic? Yeah. Excellent. So I need to know a one, a two, or a three move question. Remember, this is a free go. So try and build up as big a lead as you can without taking too much of a chance. It's up to you. Two. 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 Two, please. Go for a two. OK, here comes your very first question. It's for two moves, and it's film and television. In what film does Eminem make his debut? Is it A, 8 minute, B, 8 millimeter, or C, 8 mile? 8 mile. C, 8 mile. 8 mile. C, 8 mile. You were all very confident, I can tell you. It is the correct answer. Congratulations. Take your two steps. There we go. Right, the good start. Are you pleased? Yeah. So you should be. But remember, after this next question, Eliminator will start to move. Keep that in mind. Are you ready for your next question? Yeah. yeah. OK, good luck with this one. Here it comes, your question category. And your second category is sport. OK, sport. Now, remember, you have got a bit of breathing space at the moment, because even if you got this question wrong, you'd still be safe. So really think carefully about what you'd like to go for here. A one, a two, or a three move question. Two. 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 two, please. Two for two. Excellent. Now, is this part of a bigger plan? I'm getting the feeling it might be. <laughs> Do you have a game plan? Um, take it easy at the beginning, and as it gets round to the end, take some hard questions. So I'll take you some chances? Yeah. I like that. OK. Well, let's have a look at your second question. It's for two moves. It's on sport. Which sport takes place on a piste? Is it A, ice skating, B, skiing, or C, ice hockey? What do you think? Oh, it might be ice hockey, because I don't have a clue. I think it's skiing, because I go skiing. Yeah. 
skiing, please. You don't ski. A bit of a head start for you there. <laughs> if you're a skier yourself, you've gone for B skiing. I can't tell you that is the correct answer. Congratulations. Take your next two moves. Eliminator, please take your first move. Let's take a quick look at the state of play now, team. You're here on step four. Eliminator is way back at the moment on step one, which means you've got a bit of breathing space and you're right at the doorway to level two. But to get to level two, you need to answer your next question correctly. Are you ready? Yeah. 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 Let's take a look at the category. And it is music. OK, sometimes a very popular topic. So what would you like, a one, a two or a three move question? Two. Two, please. Two? Okay. Here it comes. Your two move question on music. Who sang the 2002 hit single Foolish? Was it A, Ashanti, B, Aaliyah, or C, Alicia's Attic? Ashanti. Sorry, because I've got it on tight and so good. Ashanti, please. You're absolutely sure? Yep. The question is is that the right answer? You can find out after the break. Welcome back to Eliminator. Now, before the break, we left our teams on a bit of a cliffhanger, didn't we? Let's see if you had the right answer. I asked you who sang the 2002 hit single, Foolish. You said A, Ashanti. And it's the correct answer. Well done. The two moves are yours. Follow me as we leave the underground level behind and enter the level of the streets. Level two. Now, of course, you've made your move, which means it's time for Eliminator to make his. The only problem with being in level two, though, guys, is that now Eliminator can move at two spaces every question. So keep that in mind. Are you ready for your next one? Yeah. OK, let's take a look at the category. And it is nature. OK, then. What would you like? A one? A two or a three move question? A two. A two. A two. You're sticking with two. Yeah. It's worked so far, hasn't it? <laughs> okay, good luck. Here it comes. What is autumn usually known as in the USA? A, autumn. B, fall. Or C, Thanksgiving? I think it's Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. I think it's yeah. fall. Because I've seen a programme on Sorry. Yeah, I think. Fall? Okay. Fall. You're going for fall? Yeah. Is that your last answer? Yeah. Okay. You said to me B. What did you think it was, Josh? Thanksgiving. I can tell you the correct answer was B. Fall. Congratulations. Well done, Helen. I guess move forward two spaces. There we go, which puts you on eight. But that does now mean Eliminator can move two spaces himself. Right then, Hayley, Helen, Josh, let's take a look at the state of play. You've done really well so far. You've made it here to step eight, and Eliminator is way back over there on step four, desperate to get into level two and hopefully try to eliminate you. But we don't want that to happen, do we? No. No way. So let's take a look at your next question category. And it is history. Yep, now that face, Helen, sums up what most people do when the history category pops up, but you might be lucky. OK, would you like a one, a two, or a three-move question? One. <laughs> one, please. Playing it safe, no question. All right, good luck. Here comes your one-move question. Which Arthur is associated with the mythical kingdom of Camelot? A, Prince Arthur. B, Sir Arthur, or C, King Arthur? King Arthur. C, King Arthur. Yeah. King Arthur. Going for C, King Arthur. Yeah, yeah. It was an easy question, and you got it right. Congratulations, well done, the move's yours. That takes you on to step nine, and unfortunately, it brings Eliminator into level two. <laughs> The good thing is, though, you don't have to worry about Eliminator at this stage, OK? The pressure's still off you, because even if you get this question wrong, you won't be eliminated. Are you ready for your next one? Yes. yes. Fingers crossed. News. 
Right, so another decision from you. One, a two, or a three move question? Go for one again. Yeah. One. Go for a one. Yeah. Okay, good luck. Here comes your one move question on news. What links Peterborough United and Victoria Beckham? A. Victoria's dad built their stadium. B. Victoria cuts the team's hair. Or C. They both have the nickname Posh. Is it? C. Oh, C. I think so anyway. Yeah. Well, I think I seem the most obvious, but what do you think? Give it a C on TV about a football team <laughs> have the nickname Posh. And she didn't like it. <laughs> Should we go for C? Yeah. C. You're going for C? Yeah. You're absolutely sure? Yeah. yeah. OK. They both have the nickname Posh. You don't think she cuts the team's hair? No. No. You're absolutely right. C is the correct answer. Well done. The move is yours. And you were spot on as well, Hallie. It is that reason. They share the same name and uh, Victoria Beckham wasn't pleased at all. <laughs> Eliminator, time for your move, please. Team, you now stand at the doorway to level three. Behind this door are the last eight steps that lead to our final prize path. What I'm going to do now is give you a choice. Now, this is a one-time offer here, OK? You can either choose to play on, enter level three, with the potential of beating Eliminator and going on some fantastic holidays. Now, including the Kenyan Safari, you can see rhinos, giraffes, Lions, or you could be going on an activity holiday to Spain or France, canoeing, abseiling, or you might not want any of that. You might want to go home now. You might have had enough. You might be worried that you're about to be eliminated, in which case you can take one of these prizes and go. Watches, furry friend kitten, a Super Plexus 3D game, and an electric arcade. I'll give you a few moments now just to talk about it, but then I will need a decision. Do you want the prices or from holiday? Okay, for me. What? I'd like to take the prizes. Sure? Sure. Can we take the prizes, please? Well, team, that's your decision, but you will never know now if you could have won that ultimate Kenyan safari. You took the prize, and the only way out now is back the way you came. Thanks for playing. I went with the prizes because I went with the majority of the vote. A holiday lasts for a week, but prizes last forever. I didn't want to go on holiday with girls. So they backed out at the last minute. The fear of elimination was just too strong. Let's hope they enjoy their prizes. And let's find out who's next. Do you know what? It's been so long, I can't even remember what level three looks like. Hopefully our next team can change all that. They're from Chalkton in Manchester, and they are... Helen. Max. Luke. Guys, it's really good to see you. How are you feeling? Great. Great. Hi. Excellent. Well, we've had one team eliminated today, and we've had one team win some prizes. Do you reckon you've got what it takes to get the holiday? Yeah. yeah. Oh, of course. All right, well, you know the rules by now. You just need to stay ahead of Eliminator. Now, I'm not going to let him move until after your second question, so your first one is a freebie. Make the most of it. Are you ready? Yep. Here comes the category. And your first question category is places. Sometimes good, sometimes tricky. So, would you like a one, a two, or a three move question? Go for two. We'll go for two. Two? Yep. Okay, good luck, guys. Here comes your first question. It's for two moves on places. Which of the following is not an American state? A. San Francisco. B. Texas. C. Alabama. Um, uh, I know Alabama because um, I think Texas. I know somebody that lives Texas. there. Texas. Texas. Texas and San Francisco. San, Fran San Francisco is a city, not a okay, state. Okay. Should we go for San Francisco? Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. It yeah. depends whether they want a place in America. Oh, let's go for San Francisco. Okay. Is that okay? We'll go for San Francisco. You're absolutely sure. Pretty. You say A. San Francisco. Guys, it was your first question, it was a freebie. You really needed a head start. Yeah. And you've got it. You're absolutely right. San Francisco is the correct answer. Helen, you were spot on. It is, in fact, a city and not a state. San Francisco is in the state of California.
Yeah, you won't forget that now, will you? <laughs> no. All right, then. Are you ready for your second question category? Yeah. Remember, after this, Eliminator can begin to move. Let's take a look. And your second question category is... Books. Books, is that good? Um, um, you're gonna, right. that's it's two. Do you want to go for two? I'm, go for two. I'm all right. Okay, go for yeah. two. You're going for two again? OK, it worked for you last time. Let's hope it does this time. Let's take a look at your second question. It's for two moves, and it's on books. Which Nick Hornby novel was made into a film starring Hugh Grant? A, Fever Pitch. B, About a Boy. C, High Fidelity. Um, about, about a Boy. Yeah. About a Boy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. Sure. pretty sure. So, yeah. I, yeah. definitely not Fever Pitch. Or, yeah. No, because I've heard of it. About yes, a yeah. Boy stars Hugh Grant. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go for a bad boy. Are you absolutely sure? Yeah. All three in Nick Hornby films, but you knew it straight away, and you had Hugh Grant. It was B, about a boy. Yes. Congratulations, well done. Let's take those two moves and put you onto step four. But, of course, now it means Eliminator can start to make his move. Team, you're doing really well. You're here on step four, and if you get the next question correct, you're going to travel through this door and enter level two. But that sound means it's the end of today's show, so you're going to have to wait, and you guys are going to have to wait until next time. Next, Brian and Sophie <laughs> crank the weird armature up to the max with some seriously way out behaviour. Uh-oh. Then, Mulhern, lovely. Mad challenges, lovely. It's Global Loco, all together now, lovely.